Prince Harry and Meghan Markle got a cold reception at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, and one member of the royal family is literally cursing the name of Prince Charles's second son. The Queen's granddaughter Zara Tyndall married her husband Mike Tyndall in 2011. A championship-winning rugby player with a history of broken noses and hard drinking, he's not exactly the first thing you'd expect when you think of a member of the British royal family. And apparently, he's also not afraid to speak his mind, at least not when it comes to royal family squabbles. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their first joint return to the United Kingdom in June 2022, since they quit being working members of the royal family in 2020. Their departure from the family and the country in 2020 was seen by some as liberating, but other members of the British public and royal family reportedly felt negatively about their exit, or, as some called it, Megxit. Controversy was only further stirred up when the couple gave a controversial tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they aired their grievances with the royal family, accusing the institution of being racist and unsupportive. They also alleged that other members of the family, including Harry's brother William and his father Charles, both expected to be the future kings of the United Kingdom, of being trapped in their roles. Yeah, they very much have this mentality of this is just how it is. This is how it's meant to be. You can't change it. Needless to say, the royal family was allegedly very unhappy with Harry and Meghan's comments, leading to what was reported to be a chilly homecoming for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. As one insider told Hollywood Life, ahead of making the trip over, the Sussexes were cautiously excited to be reunited with the rest of the royal family. The source shared, they know all eyes will be on them, which is always stressful, but at the same time, it's going to be a chance for them to show the world that they're still very much a part of the family. The last thing they want to do is take away attention from the Queen. They're going to honour her and celebrate her. At the Jubilee celebrations, however, Meghan and Harry were denied access to the Buckingham Palace balcony and denied the opportunity to take a photograph of Queen Elizabeth meeting her namesake, great-granddaughter Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor. The meeting between the monarch and the Sussexes was also reported to have lasted just 15 minutes. During their visit, Harry and Meghan made their first public appearance with the royal family since stepping down from active duty at St Paul's Cathedral, which they attended for a service of thanksgiving. Following the thanksgiving service at St Paul's Cathedral, the only official event at which the Sussexes were present with the other royals, cameras caught them speaking to Zara, while Mike looked on, seemingly uncomfortable about being approached by the couple. In fact, he notably struck up a conversation with somebody else, apparently to avoid even engaging with them. Meghan and Harry soon moved off without acknowledging the former athlete. Body language expert Judy James suggested that Zara was happy to chat while Mike looked awkward, noting, In the end, he talks to Viscount Lindley, who turns his own back on Harry, cutting the two men off from Zara's conversation with Harry. Lady Colin Campbell commented on the cold shoulder that Harry and Meghan received during an interview with GB News. Now, Tyndall avoided them like the plague. He made absolutely sure he didn't catch the rag. After the event, Mike Tyndall reportedly shared how he really felt about the couple to a fellow guest at a different gathering. According to a report by Express, at a reception following the Platinum Party at Buckingham Palace, Tyndall took the opportunity to call Prince Harry a bastard. The remark was reportedly made by Mike to a fellow guest and was overheard by the outlet's source. Harry and Meghan Markle did not attend the Platinum Party concert alongside the rest of the royal family. The Tyndalls sat directly behind Kate Middleton and her children. While boos could be heard clearly in several videos from the day, several sources reported that there was still at least some cheering for Meghan and Harry outside of St Paul's Cathedral, seeming to indicate that the people of Great Britain haven't totally turned on them. As for Mike Tyndall, though, he may still need a bit more convincing. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.